So we're going to need about one fourth cup of the apple cider vinegar and then the rest will be three parts water. So basically it's one fourth cup and then three fourths cups of water. Here you're going to see me make a mess. Oops. Don't be like me. And then you add your water. Give it a little shake shake. Alright, while well, doing this, I do recommend that y'all wear a shirt that y'all don't care about that much. And put on the tank top. And I Since this stupid ass motherfucking tail wanna come out down, now I'm gonna hurry up and redo this shit. Stupid ass. Get your first section. Get your outside of vinegar. Please, y'all, make sure y'all got it on the mess, cause I done had a lot of troubles with with this not being on the mess part. So yeah, you just pretty much spray it and drench the hair. Make sure y'all spray y'all roots and your scalp and make sure you massage it enough. I want y'all to literally drench this hair. 
it should be dripping. Now y'all see that? See that drip drip action? That's what I want to see. I want to see it dripping. All right. And after you get it dripping, you can take your detangler brush and just comb it through. Comb it through. And we're going to go ahead. Okay, just I'm just going to safely get this towel mess close. So you can go ahead and um, twist it on up to get it out the way because your first section is now complete. Unless you don't do the second part right. Make sure you do the second part right. Because you don't want to be walking around smelling like ACV. <laughs> With your old sour smelling ass. <laughs> oh. But no, no y'all. This stuff really do stink. And you just going to have to bear with it. And take a nice shower after. Because remember, I want to see the hair dripping. Okay. So now that it, um, I have went through and I twisted them all up, what you're going to do is you're going to go back in to where you have the most buildup at. So all my buildup is usually around the front of my head because like I said, I was slicking my ponytails back every day and slicking my puff and all that. And I know y'all got that buildup on them edges because y'all be swooping the hell out of them. I seen y'all. So then you just go back in, put it in your build-up spots, get your, uh, your scalp. So that's what we, the main focus is, we want to get the build-up off the scalp, off the hair, promote growth, stimulate those um, <laughs> cuticles. Now, once you feel like you've got enough on your hair, you can go ahead and go in and do this. Give it a good massage. Massaging your scalp does stimulate hair growth. It gets the blood flowing. So at any chance you get, just go ahead and give yourself a little hair massage. Hair gonna grow. Yes, this stuff will be dripping all over you. That is why I instructed you to take a shower after. It is okay. And actually, if it drips down your face, it might clear up some of the blemishes because it's anti-inflammatory, got that puffiness, that redness in your face. It might get you together right there too. I need it myself, to be quite honest. So I'm gonna let it came through drip, drip, drip. Came through drip, drip, drip. Right up on them acnes. Go ahead, drip away. But like y'all see this, let me zoom in. That is build up from that uh, Gorilla Glue and stuff that I use. And you couldn't even really see that before I put this on there. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna really make sure I get that spot, goodness. Ew, ew. Yeah, okay now. After you've done all that, I like to go ahead and pull them up, not tight or nothing, just pull the little ends and a little twist, pull them back into a little ponytail, and again, not tight, we don't really want no tension on it, I'm just putting it in a hair wrapper so that I can put my, uh, my shower cap on. It does not have to be perfect. None of this has to be perfect when you're doing your hair, your natural hair. I think that's why we get it 
where the uh, misunderstanding comes in. We want it to be perfect. My most perfectest twist outs come from imperfection. So, stop trying to be perfect. Stop trying to have your edges flipped and dip. It don't gotta be perfect. I mean, but if y'all master those edges, come teach your girl. Cause I don't be doing all that. I need some help. If you can help me, give me a shout. But then, yeah, I know this thing big as hell. But you're gonna go ahead and put your shower, <laughs> put your shower cap on. You can do 10, you can do in between 10 and 15, just 10 to 15 minutes. That's it. And I see y'all in 15 minutes. Y'all, and it just dawned on me that I, I know some of y'all that's like, now she knows she don't do no apple cider vinegar rinse no every month. <laughs> that's why you're wrong, because I got poop. You see this here? This is a brand new bottle. Why would I need a brand new bottle? Hmm. Because my other bottle is gone because why? I do these every month. I just have to show y'all real quick that I am not flexing and finessing for my videos. I really does. Alright. After your time is up, you guys do have to wash your hair. The reason why you wash your hair is because this is not a substitute for shampoo. It's not at all. It just clarifies the hair, but now you have to cleanse the hair. So what I usually do, I don't usually do like a good rinse, wash, repeat. I usually do the, do this, like wash it out, get all the apple cider vinegar out, and leave it at that, and then put my conditioner on it. I don't really go through and wash it and wash it and wash it and wash it. I'm technically what I'm doing is I'm just washing the ACV out and also washing my hair. I'm not really doing it for a complete shampoo thing because this is not hair wash day. This is apple cider vinegar day. But you do have to wash this out of your hands, y'all. And that's it. That's all of these two apple cider vinegar. Let me go ahead and show y'all. Now y'all see all that building. But that is all. That is everything you need to know about doing the apple cider vinegar rinse. And it was quick, it was simple, and that bottle of apple cider vinegar was only like, I wanna say $6. That's it. It ain't take that much effort. None of that. So there you go.